To win this race, you needed a ladder and a vaulting pole to reach Raymond's house, but this race didn't have a single vaulting pole or ladder available. Instead, players needed to locate the wood to craft a vaulting pole, which was located here. They also needed to find the wood they would need to craft a ladder. There are no trees on the island, so the only wood you could find was labeled for you here, here, and at the very beginning of the race. Some of these offerings needed to be dug up. You can only access the real golden shovels by swimming to the dock or saving the single hit on one of the fake golden shovels you found and digging up the single bush blocking your only entryway to and from the beach. The only crafting table available to the players was upstairs in my house. Once the winning player crafted the vaulting pole and ladder, they made their way up to Raymond's house, which was only accessible from the first level section right here. The winner had to locate that section and ascend the watery cliffs to Raymond's house. Great job and congratulations to the winner and thank you so much everyone for participating in this Crunchy Island race. All players are welcome to stick around and finish the maze. There are Nookmaw tickets at the front for those who didn't win.